This is an example of how not to ship something. We're here with some game mail and we've got this giant box to unpack. Now I am a little worried because you can see that there's a tear right here. This is something that I ordered because of the box that's inside. So let's hope that it's in good condition once we open it. Another bad sign is that they only use painter's tape when shipping. I get that it's painter's tape, but I already don't like seeing all the painter's tape that's on this box. All right, let's just try and remove this nice and slow and make sure it doesn't take off any of the uh, artwork. I remember people telling me when there's tape like this on a box, it might actually be best to uh, get a hair dryer involved. So that's what we're going to do. This part in particular, I'm really worried about because like this art here is a big part of it. So here we go. All right, that looks pretty good. So not only is there still more tape on the sides here, but I went to go move this and you can see that this is attached to the box with tape. So great. Now see, there's definitely stuff coming off there. Cool. All right, let's heat it up a little bit more. This is great. Oh man, look at that too, right there. Man, that sucks. You can clearly see some damage on the top of the box. That's clearly from the tape. Even when heated up, we still took some artwork off and this would not have happened if it was just packed properly. I can't believe it's right on here with tape too. What, I mean, oh yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. This was crazy. Oh, there's tape on both sides. Oh my God. I'm going to have to use it here too. Oh, okay. Neat. Glad that's taken care of. Now we just have one more side and God help me if there's any more. Oh man, great, yep. Right here, we got a good tear. Oh man, that sucks. We almost got through that whole section without it. It's pretty warm too, so, oh boy. Come on, man. All right, I heated it up some more. Hopefully that's the last of what it's tearing off. Oh my goodness. No, we're tearing off whole sections here. That's, that's great. That's great. Oh man. I know it might not seem like a big deal, but still. Oh my goodness, we're tearing off all that. Man. Yeah, this whole bottom section is toast. Look at all that that's coming off. Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. That would not have been a problem. None of this would have come off if it was just in a box, like it should have been. The good news is is that's the last of the dang tape here but that's really disappointing but here it is the sega genesis fighting systems version with one of the coolest box arts here for the sega genesis and i know it might seem like nitpicking where i'm you know talking about paint coming off of this but when i bought this and told the seller hey i'm really after the box here it's what i really am purchasing and you're paying over a hundred dollars for this stuff i asked them hey can you please make sure that you ship the box with care because that's the most important part of it and they didn't. They attached tape directly to the box, which when something like this that's over 30 years old, that's just so frustrating. But anyway, it came with this. There should be some stuff on the inside as well. I'm guessing with the way that it's bulging, they packed all the games in here instead of packing it in a box, which would have made it easier for them and not damaged this. All right, here we go. Pulling this out now. I mean, it's got... The cardboard which is pretty cool so as it should though because that was what was included in the listing anyway here's the instructions i love that the grid work from sega stuff back then <laughs> and it's so cool all right and let's see what we got here yeah they just jammed this stuff in 
which whatever it's not too bad but still it's probably not the way to do it we got 688 attack sub an f22 interceptor however i believe there's other games in some of these nope that's just interceptor with which is broken <laughs> that's fine well loved is totally fine I'm not gonna be mad about that and then this one here neato and then this just probably is all the cabling yeah controller one controller two you got video and then power there and then this is a sega genesis here we go sega genesis 1 16-bit but notice it doesn't have the high def graphics and ew that needs some love you can tell that's been in a basement for a while oh and as mentioned shadow of the beast has spider-man inside of it too i didn't have any of those games for the sega genesis though so that's cool it'll be good for the collection and all that jazz and for the most part the box looks good but folks if you're gonna sell stuff especially things like this to collectors when they say hey take care of the box just put it in another box we paid you for the shipping that's that's why we did it and if you need more let us know other than that folks cheers